Avoca over in the gold fields. They had a really good think about the history of the town, the gold fields history, the Chinese cultural history, and they wanted to create a place to think and reflect and to perform and listen to music. And so they've created a Chinese garden. It was an opportunity to generate a higher profile for the town, to commemorate the Chinese presence historically in the town, to have a garden and a space that gave them a place to celebrate. And it forms a lovely bridge between the main street of the town and the river flat down below, which is a beautiful park area. We knew that in doing this, we were actually taking a whole town out of a comfort zone in terms of that invisibility of that stone Chinese history. We set out an objective to have four seasonal events. The cultural day with the local school children. They built a dragon. They had drumming sessions. We made Chinese food. And then at the Avoca Primary School, they built some lanterns. The children started learning Chinese at the school last year. They've now developed a relationship with a language school in Beijing and they Skype once a week and do their Chinese lessons. Then we had Chinese New Year celebration. And that was really wonderful because that's something that we'd like to continue. It's been a very collaborative process. All the way along, it hasn't just been one person pushing the wheelbarrow. Everybody's been very helpful with their ideas. We're not just seeing a collaboration among artists, we're seeing a collaboration amongst the community, and fundamentally, we're seeing a collaboration with the place. Our builders were involved in the construction of the garden. The rocks in the garden have come from a farm out the road. The timber in the pavilion were iron bark trees from another farm. So it's actually our garden in our place. And I think that's allowed people to be more accepting of it. And we've got this wonderful result. And that's very exciting that now we begin. Mamu, 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 yame, yame. It has been awe-inspiring to work with you. This was always going to be beautiful. It's not a word, beautiful, I can't say it. Officially open the Chinese garden. People in town who are working in the bank and different offices have already said, oh, I've bought a coffee and I've gone down and sat down in the garden. So you think, that's what we want, a place that everyone can use. I've heard of a number of people who have happily now come forward and acknowledge that they do actually have Chinese ancestry. So it's given a sense of pride in their history. It was a brother and a sister who were maybe in their 50s, 60s, and they said, oh, our mother was ashamed. You know, she hid away the fact that she had Chinese heritage, but we're here to honour her. Quite a, a lovely old man came past the other day saying, yeah, didn't think it was going to amount to much, but I have to admit, it's pretty lovely. <laughs> It's a combination of the Chinese and the Australia culture all bonding together. Today is full of people. It's just gorgeous to see being used. It's extraordinarily beautiful. Thank you.